Hello everyone, this is Julie with Craft with Julie and today I want to share with you Close to My Heart's Cut Above Kids. These are not something new, um, but Close to My Heart is doing them in a new way. So they used to be available in a subscription and now they're um, with each new idea book they're bringing out a new set of these Cut Above kits. And if you're not familiar with what they are, they come in this package and you get a flyer just like this. So this one is probably from a long time ago. And then it gives you instructions and guidelines of how to put these together. The best part of these kits is that you only need um, glue and um, a journaling pen, essentially, to put these together. So let me show you what comes in a kit. I can get this out of the package. All right. So you get your um, photo mats. So if you're not quite ready for your photos, you can use those. There's also die cut or yeah, die cut um, images and shapes, and it labels layout one and layout two. And then there's a sticker sheet, and the same it has layout one and layout two stickers, and then you get pre-printed background papers. So there's that one and that one. So you can see how fast and simple these could come together. Um, also, you get page protectors and then we have some little extra like photo mats and things like that. Okay, so I pulled out the base pages for layout number two. You can see that these items are already pre-printed on the background, it makes it super easy. And I pulled out some photos I want to scrapbook. Um, these are from spring break of I believe 2020. And I noticed on this layout, there's this tree and a little deer. And we decided for that spring break to just stay around home and explore um, some of the things around us. And so we went to Antelope Island and We've never done it before, and so it was kind of um, a fun adventure for us, even though I've lived here in Utah all of my life. Um, but I remember they had this statue right here with the beautiful mountains behind it. So I thought even though this is maybe more geared towards um, Thanksgiving, I thought with that tree and the deer die cut, um, we could totally pull it off as kind of a hiking adventure. So here are the little die cuts. Oh, there's a, oh, they have the little, I didn't notice. They have little triangles in here. So let me go ahead and pull those out really fast. Okay, we got that done. So this page, I'm going to do more true to the instructions um, just because it will fit perfectly with my photos. So the, the first layout, if you've watched that video, I changed the colors in the background and I will put a link to that video so you can check it out at the end of this video. But I'm gonna go ahead and start working on this one. It's super simple. We have those nice large four by six, which just worked perfect for my photos. And then we have this one right here that I'm gonna cut this one down so mom and dad are on the page too. Um, Thank goodness for selfies. Um, otherwise, I don't think mom or dad would be in any of these photos. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut that down and get these photos laid onto my page. One thing I wanna point out real quick, what's really nice is that this kit came with photo mats. So they're all ready to go. I just have to add my photos. This wasn't 2020. See, my photos tell me now this is 20. 21, but my little guy <laughs> is still wearing a mask. So remember that time where we had to wear masks? Um, this Antelope Island was really nice uh, because it was outside. There was several different hikes that we could do and we could stay distance from those around us. And it was so fun to see all the different license plates um, from other um, states. They're visiting Antelope Island. I actually grew up probably, I don't know, maybe 20 miles away from Antelope Island and I, we just 
didn't visit. It's really fun for bikers as well, like uh, bicycles and um, hiking and the buffalo and all the animals. It was just really fun. It was just a really fun day. Okay, so now looking at my um, instructions, <laughs> I need to bring those photos down just a little bit. Thankfully, I looked at those, and now I'm now I'm going to get them attached to my page. Okay, so I have this date card for journaling that I can add right here next to this photo, and look how fast and easy that was. I just had my grab my photos and we could go. Um, so now it's just the fun part of adding our different elements, and so there's this one. And I need to grab my stickers as well. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so let's go ahead and work on this page first. And it has thankful for, thankful today. And um, I'm gonna leave that title because um, I think it works for what we were doing as a family. I was thankful for the time that we could spend together, the fact that we could actually get outside. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and leave that title and, oh shoot, hold on. We have stickers. <laughs> like where are all those fun stripes? Here they are. Okay. I'm so glad I used close my heart's glue because I can just pull that up and we're going to go ahead and add this like tires. I don't know. No, it's like a metal sticker across the top. And this plaid one, look how cute this plaid is. That's why I think this layout was originally more Thanksgiving, giving ish, but I think it works really well for nature pictures as well. So now we can put our thankful, now it's looking more right. And then our today underneath there. And then we have this plaid circle, so cute. And we can just tuck that right underneath this photo of my daughter. And then we can add the compass. Oh, should I write, oh. What well, doesn't have the north and, anyway. <laughs> I'll just put it on here. I was gonna be geographically correct and um, I didn't have the north and such on there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put that on. And then we have that star circle in the middle. And then we have these die cut stars and I'm going to add a little bit of 3D foam to them just to give them a little bit of dimension. Um, I love 3D foam, it's a staple in my craft room. Um, it just adds a little, just adds a little something to your project. Go ahead and add these. And you could add accents or stamping or whatever you want to add to uh, this page. But like I said, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it just like they have on the instructions. And so that is the page, the first page. So let's go ahead and work on this one over here. And this is sticker is kind of where I came up with the idea to use these photos of enjoy the view. And we have a couple stickers. Let's see, did I not punch? Oh, there we go. I'm like, did I not punch them all out? So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the tree and the deer down here. And there's a little piece that I didn't punch out. I'm not used to all these punch outs. Usually it's just stickers and cutting paper, but I'm really loving how fast and easy these come together. Um, and that's definitely something um, I will continue to use for these cut above kits. Cause look how fast I'm getting this memory um, down to put in my album. Okay, so let's do this little guy right here and we have another star sticker right here 
And another thing I didn't mention in my last video, because you can see I still have stickers left over from the first layout that I didn't use. I could put these in my stash and use them for other projects. So you can actually stretch these, um, stretch these kits even further just by using those leftover little pieces that you um, might leave out because they don't quite work with your photos. But um, for sure, those are really nice big pieces that I can use on a card or um, another, um, another page. I can't talk and <laughs> attach things at the same time. <laughs> I'm going to add that a little bit higher. Okay, now this time let's not forget our borders. I love that you can add these to the top. I mean, this page is cute without them, but I think it just adds so much more on there. And then we have two more stickers. And then I think we're going to be done with this one. So Close My Heart um, calls these Cut Above, Cut Above kits. You really just need adhesive and some 3D foam if you want um, to create these. And... A journaling pen so you can add your journaling and they have a, a special going on right now during the month of August you can buy two of these kits and get one free there's even a card making one that you can um, actually there's quite a few card making ones so if you're not a scrapbooker you can check those out but there we go it is all done I have my photos from our spring break and now I can just add my dates and journaling um, of the fun that we had that day so Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, I would love a thumbs up. Maybe leave me a comment. And also make sure you click the subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.